I just want to try to do something that um, I never did. So we are trying to, to work in V75. Try to see how many opportunities we can get for us to, to not miss an entry. Let's say you miss an entry. Where are you going to get your entry again? Maybe on retracement. Remember, uh, sometimes when the, when the market open, in other places, let's say in South Africa, it's just 2 a.m. Some of us, we still sleep. Other places, people, they still awake where they can take an entry properly. Then today, this is what I want to try to show. So it's like a back testing. Try to see how I'm going to get the entries and uh, how we can keep this market going so that we can continue working perfectly and not missing entry. So for me, I'm not going to do more about what happened on this level, but I'll use some uh, levels to show you guys how do you target the market and other stuff. So if you can check, this is, uh, we are looking for a range. This is our range. This is the low range. And this is the, this is the higher, this is the, the higher range of uh, that market. So we've got high and we've got a low. Now, check what happened from this level market show us the direction of selling let's say you are selling from when you see this rejection you know okay the open of this candlestick market is gonna drop either if you want you want to see market closing below this block here so that you can take yourself let's say you are selling from this level yeah you are going short from this level so how much are you risking how much are you risking? Because you need to know your risk before you jump in in a trade. Let's say maybe you are risking 2%, 2% of your account. Okay, 2% of your account. That is what you are risking, 2% of your account. Maximum, I'm risking 1% of my account for every end. I don't trade crazy, like, like what I see with other people. You see the void open maybe. 10 position, 15 position, I don't do that because I'm calculating my risk. I'm not doing gambling. I know what I'm up to. So I respect that. Then when you take an entry lag in this level, then you are you start selling. Where is your target? Where do you where where are you gonna take your first uh, take profit? This is why you need to know you must have your first TP. You need to understand, okay, my first TP must be on the level of liquidity or must be where there is a block. For example, we can check this candlestick. This is the last candlestick that where market bought. This is like this one. This is the last one where market bought. So market return to the block here on this block here. Then market bought. This is the last candlestick. Again, they use to take out this level of liquidity here. You see what is happening. It took off this liquidity, create a new one. This way, you see market return to this level. So, where is our TP? We can we can keep this zone as our TP. This level here, as our TP. You know, okay, this level is our TP. Then we collect our profit from this level. Let me track it down. Then we collect our TP from this zone. So, because market is already confirmed to us that market now is, is going short. So, if we took, if we decide to take our profit from this level, because I know some people, they are going to wait. I say, okay, let me hold because uh, I'm a sync trader. So, I'm just going to hold even if market return here. Maybe let's say if market can, can get to the break even, you know, those kind of stuff. So, people, some people don't do that. Like, as for me, I'll take my profit here. Maybe I'll look for another entry, like my buy entry from this zone again. But since this one is so risky to take a buy entry from this level, why? Because market is already show us. Check how market drop is already show us that we, we want to push down. So we need to be careful with the market. I know it's a nice opportunity. We can collect a profit because this is how many hours? One, two, three. This is almost... Uh, 12 hours of buying, 
is a nice opportunity for you to buy. Let's say if you didn't see the sale, then you see a buy here. You can buy up until this level, then take your profit and start looking for a sell position. Then, so if you can check again from this level when markets return, this is how you need to apply now your FIFO nature to understand where am I going to place my entry if market is going to continue dropping. So you apply your Fibonacci from the eye to this low, then you start looking where is the OT entry. So if you can check, you've got OT entry, a market get in, then market did what? Market drop. Some people like that, they are, they are fast in the market and like some of us, I'm going to place my entry from that level because I know with a confirmation that I've got 79% and uh, 62 and 70% there. Then I'm going to risk 1%. Either I'm going to put on top here or I'm just going to risk maybe 1% or 2% of my account and see how market is going to play from that level. Now, here I've got a proper confirmation of saying market is going to sell. Now the problem is going to play here is where is my TP? Like I always tell you guys, what is your TP? My first TP is gonna be my first TP is gonna be this level here because this is the level of liquidity. This is where it's gonna be my first TP, and my second TP is gonna be down here because this is the range. Remember, I told you about the range. This is I. This is the low. Sorry, this is the low and the I on top there. So when I place my entry there. My target is gonna be on this level this is where my target is going to be so I place my entry there then markets check what happened market drop market gets on this level because we've got the block if you can check. then market drop so if you can check properly inside here you've got this block here let me see what happened on this block the market get on this block. Market didn't get to our liquidity, but market get on the block. Then market did what? Bought again. But market bought where? Market bought up until our breaker. Can you see? Up until our breaker. Market get to the breaker. Return again back to the block. Went up again on the same level. Then market did what? Market dropped. Check when market drop. Check when market drop. What happened? Market drop. Create a new, create a new, a new, a new, a new low. See what happened? Market create a new, a new low. Then market rally up again. So let me do like this. So market took off this liquidity here. Then market rally up already here. We already collect how many percent? Almost 11 percent. Imagine just by risking two percent, we are collecting 11 percent. Now, here depend on what you are doing. Let's say if market is going try to push again up, you know already me, my target is on this level of liquidity. Even if market is playing on this level, you just hold your trades, you just hold the trade and you keep on updating your stop loss. Like if you see market cross this breaker here, that is when you understand, okay, here, now I need to check my profit. Already here, you already protect your profit, you already collect your first TP, this is your second TP. Then market create a new, a new level, like a new liquidity level. Then markets went up, market went up where? You see? Some people will tell, okay, this is a neckline. The market is what? Market drop again. When market is dropping, where is the target? The target is to take out this liquidity. And check what happened. Market come on this level. Market come on this level. Take out this liquidity. Try to buy again so that they can send so many people on the wrong side. Then people understand that okay, oh, we are buying. There is people that they'll tell you, I'm waiting for confirmation so that I can take my sell, uh, my buy position. No problem. There we go. You take your confirmation. Some people open the trade there. 
They're saying, okay, I'm taking my, my, uh, my buy there. They're risking 1% of the account, maybe 2%, depending on the size of the account and the person. Then where is the target? The target is there. But the first target, second target maybe is up there, you know. But check what happened. Boom, market drop. So market drop, if you check properly on the left side, you understand why market drop and goes there. So let's see what why push the market. Can you check? So market was targeting again. This is on. Like what I always tell you. Market always goes where there is a liquidity. Market cannot just move like the way you guys think, okay, market is moving. The market is getting manipulated, manipulated. No, there is no manipulation in the market. It's just that people they are trying to buy at the wrong time and they are trying to sell at the wrong time again. See, same story what I was telling you guys. Market take out, face this liquidity, take out this one, come to this one also. Then we create a new. Then we create a new a new one. He already the person who was buying it because people that they wait for confirmation and the candlestick confirmation. He already the person is out. Maybe he was risking forty dollars. Forty dollars gone from this level. But anyway, the person who sold from here already got the profit. So this is like a first TP, a second TP, third TP, and markets drop down. Check now when market drop down from this level. Market create this low. And check what is happening. Every time when market creates a low, market now is trying to do what? Change direction. This is what happening. Take off this low, this low then market uh, bought like for four hours just to send people in the wrong direction, then come down because there was another liquidity on this level. Anyway, and then we get on this zone here again. We get on this zone. Markets drop. If you can check, this is the last candlestick that market use before they check out this liquidity. When market start buying, what is your target? Your target is on this candlestick here. Because this is the last candlestick. This is the break I last candlestick. Some people tell you this is the FTR. And this is... Uh, the same uh, as we know when you do like this the information is just too much on my head so you do like this that is the level now check what happened market gets on that level then market did what market drop again drop to where to take out this liquidity and create a new liquidity level now here come here come another another proper story of you've got this confirmation that we took out this liquidity then markets imagine markets close where so markets pull down return and close up then okay for people that they want confirmation here already someone will tell you ah me i'm taking my entry because i see my confirmation is there already so i'm risking one percent yes it's also a proper to wait for confirmation of candlestick wait for confirmation of your candlestick wait from here then what are you doing what are you doing you are targeting now the problem is where do you target the market where is your tp and where is your where do you want to exit the market so let me just delete everything on this one so that uh, I can show you guys, like me, if I wanna trade from this level, what am I gonna do? Where is gonna be my TP and where is gonna be my, like my exit point? Where am I gonna put my exit point? So, for my exit point, let's say I've got this confirmation here. The liquidity has been taken off. We took off this liquidity here. If you can check, we took off this liquidity level here. Then, my kids buy. Market start buying. This is this is the breaker. Why is the breaker? Because this is the last up candlestick that we use before we took out this liquidity. But on top of that, we need to know if we are buying. Let's say we wait for the market to go rally. Market goes up here, then market pull back to our other block. Then here we can go long now. So we are placing our entry. 
when markets are returning. Then where is our TP? So the TP, what you need to do, we need to mark all this zone. Let's say we mark this. This is the level of liquidity. This is the first level of liquidity. Okay, this is the first level of liquidity. And another one is the one on top there. Is the one on top there. And the third one, we can put this one because you need to mark all this one because this is your target. You know, you know the big boys, they will try to target those zones because this is the zone where there is money. You know when they say there is money, this is the zone where there is money in the market. Check now, you are buying from here because here you didn't buy. You waited for a pullback to come in. Let's say if we apply Fibonacci, if this zone can be our uh, OT, OT entry. Can you see? This is our OT entry. So you are waiting for market to come where? To, to, to pull back to the OT entry. Then you take your, your sell, your, sorry, your buy from that level. You just take your buy from, from this level. From the OT entry, then you goes up. So, I've been talking about the TP. Where are you going to put your TP? Where are you going to put your TP? This one here. This one here can be like your first TP. This one can be like your first TP. So, check markets. Return here. We get our entry. Our stop loss is below this uh, rejection here. Then market goes up. When markets, when market cross this, uh, when market cross this level of a breaker, you see what is happening here. For some people, they wait for the market to do this to get a proper confirmation. Like uh, now, they are going long. This is you see some people come and take their entry from this level. This level here, just get the entry and risking one or two percent of their account and the target if they understand the level of liquidity the target is gonna be the same same level so let's say my higher target is the one on top there I'm targeting the top there markets goes up this is why you you need to understand how the market is playing if you miss an entry here you wait for the market to break this level when markets return then you get your entry you miss again an entry from this level you wait again for market to create a new pullback from this zone here because of this breaker here then market did what buy let's say you buy from this level it's the same story you make you make profit you make profit again from this level and you push up your target is this one this one this one and that one there so you can see market get here market pass all this level check like this one here market just get here pull small then push up again this one here markets return back you you don't know like maybe you you miss all this movement from this level where you're gonna place again your entry even this one here like for people that maybe they always be late you take an entry from this level you are risking again two or one percent of your account. Your target is up there. So as you can check, market is where market get on that level. So when market gets on the level of liquidity, what market always try to do is to create a new eye. So when you see market, check how market close from this level. Market went up, the new candlestick open, close below, below where this level. What are you gonna do? You just come here again. Let's say you are selling. You didn't see all this movement. You just come here again. You look for, for an entry from this level. You look for your sell position. You look for your sell position. The candlestick close. You get the confirmation that we are going, we are going short. Where is your target again? Your target is for market to come and take out this level of liquidity. This is the big target like a big target of someone who's trading and who understand 
what is the market trying to do? It's just gonna target this level of liquidity. We just target this level of liquidity. Then check what happened when market was was uh, was uh, uh, selling. You see, market get on this level. Some people they they give you the names of like even me. I'm using the strategy. I tell you, this is the flags. So you see, this is the flags. You know, tell you this flag market break the flag from downside. What is uh, my TP? I told you guys about my TP. My TP was on this level. We create a new low. You check. We create a new low from this zone. Let's say if you sell from here, you are going to hold your trade because you know where is your target. You know where your market is going. And hold this position here. It's going to be like, uh, you know, it's going to allow you to collect even some profit here. Maybe you go short again from this level. This level up until this zone. Like some people, they'll take again another buy going up. Here, this is the level where you sell maybe for the last time because markets drop again. Depend on how markets play on this level, then you see how markets play, markets come down and create a new liquidity. Check what happened when markets create a new liquidity. Markets did what? Come up again. When markets is going up, what is again your target? Your target is to take out this liquidity. You take out this liquidity. The market drop again. Same scenario. You are selling. You are selling from this level. From that confirmation. Your TP is where. You can even say, okay. Now check one thing here. Do you see this block here? We've got this block. We've got this one here because this one was used already. Market goes up. And we've got this one here. Then we've got the liquidity. You can see even my first... Uh, I face uh, TP is this one. My second one is this one. Let's see how market play again from this level. You see, market continue going where, going down, going down, 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 and get on this level. Market start buying. Then when market start buying, this is now we need to go to the low time frame. When you see markets like from here, market refuse to get your direction. After this year, market pull back, and you already you know, oh, market pull back from this on I ah, here we are going long. You see what happened? Market take out this level, come back to this zone here to confirm that. Because when you see market close below the block, you understand already, okay, we are going long. So here you can even take a profit. You can take a profit from break even. Depend on where how you update your your stop loss. So if maybe your stop loss was somewhere here, then market take you out. Like the way you can see, market take out. Then here market goes again long. Market goes long where because you need to take this liquidity. Check what happened. Market took out this liquidity. So when market took out this liquidity, then market starts selling again from that level. What is the target? So we've got the target. This one is the target. This one is the target, this one is the target, and this one is the target. So market starts selling. Then you see what is happening here from this level. Market pull back. You see? Market pull back where? Inside the breaker. Then return back again to the block. Check what is happening. You see what is happening. So this thing is so simple. As long as just you understand what is happening in the market, then you're not gonna go wrong with it. You see what is happening? Where market close. This is the target that I told you guys from the left side. Then market did what? Market respect these levels. Then market bought again. So when market bought, this is the current level of market. What is happening? Let's say we move to daily and try to get what is happening on daily. So, from daily time frame, if we can check, we've got uh, let me delete everything that is here so that we can see something. Um, 
to start with these things. So from here, if we can check, because if you use a meta thread, you see here we get the fair gap value on this zone, fair gap value on this zone, and we've got a block here because this is uh, our last count candlestick that market use before we take out this liquidity before we take out this liquidity and why is market why is market selling from this zone this is one thing also you need to understand because here we've got market is confirmed that is going up then why market is pulling down again from this level so what you need to do you apply again with Fibonacci to understand where markets is playing so if we can check markets it down to 7.5 then market starts selling check our market sold from this level market sold sold then get on this level because this is like market was returning to come and retest this one again but but as for me if I wanna sell again, this is my two level. I'll look for sell. I'll either look for this level or this one down here. But we'll see. Remember, we're gonna have a new candlestick of uh, weekly tomorrow. So we we'll see how market is gonna pull. Maybe this uh, candlestick is going before the market close. Maybe it's gonna close somewhere here. The new one open. It's gonna try to come to this other block because this block never been tested already. Well, this one here because we've got uh, a fair gap value here. so market has to return maybe the market can return either market can buy from this level here again or from the current level and goes up then uh, check out this liquidity then then we come again down up until this zone here then we buy again so all depend on how the market is going to play What's up guys, I hope you're gonna enjoy this video.